to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. But Brady doesn't have He's not a big guy like Cam Newton He's kind of thin and you know Right You know there you can pull up a shirtless photo of Brady From the beach last summer and you're like oh that is Did you see that with, with Giselle It's the best It's yeah. like this is the best quarterback in Of the, all time Of all and time And now that's Look at his body Yeah 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 uh, it was hilarious, actually. But I don't think everybody is the same. I know, like, D- like D'Anthony, for example, yeah. will be like, eat, you got to eat something, eat Pop-Tarts, eat meat all day. And for me personally, and I've done it, like I've been on, you know, I'll eat a bunch of red meat. It does not make me feel good. It makes me feel very heavy and very, like, how do I say? Blocked up. And so... Yeah. Uh, because I've heard as well that red meat will stay in your system a lot longer. longer and that's yeah. for some people good and some people, it depends on what you do, what kind of exercising you do, what you're, I mean, I don't believe in eating for your blood type, but I don't think that vegan is right for everyone. I don't think that red meat is right for everyone. I think that we all are very different. Yeah. Depending on all different kinds of factors. So what works for Brady may not work for Cam Newton and... Uh, he may be getting hurt because he's not, he's deficient in something that he was getting before. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Brady needs the same nutri. you know? Yeah. That's what I think. But, and I, it's weird that you were vegan and felt like lethargic and sick if you were doing it for that long. Like, that's crazy to me because that's usually not how it goes yeah f- not I felt, that you uh, can sustain it but usually people are and it's the same with anything if you start a new diet and a new regiment you're gonna feel great because your body is like it's something new right and then eventually after that it starts to be like this isn't working for me right yeah so when people are like gotta go vegan it's like you tried something new mm-hmm. so if i was a vegan and i switched to meat I'd feel great for a little bit, right? Because I've switched my, I've tried something new and switched it up a little bit. So, yeah, I just you know. felt uh, kind of lethargic on it, but I, I think it's probably on your body type and what you're used to and things like that. Like, you know, yeah, I mean, chicken meats. Like, I'm a, I'm a big carnivore guy, right? Um, and I think he was the same. I think there could be actually something to this. Like, I, you switch like that midlife. And yeah, you're just like, I mean, all right, cool. Yeah. Um, and I think Brady. I've, also, I've yeah. also known vegans that have been overweight, too, where I'm just like, how is that possible? Because you can eat chips and shit, I guess. Right. So my friend, my friend a little bit after high school, I guess. So I'll say high school and after high school was a vegan, a uh, vegetarian. Okay. But the things that you substitute if you're not health conscious about it are like quesadilla pasta yes. you know what i mean yes, yes, so yes, yes, yes. fat vegans are a thing fat <laughs> vegans that do yoga are huge in ojai flexible as shit just a fat <laughs> lady have you ever seen this with a with no. her leg just all the way around because she does yoga all the time right um is a vegan mm-hmm. but you know what doesn't have animal products in it oil and sugar right so you can have a vegan cookie Guess what it's filled with, right? (laughs) Sugar, oils, like a cacao, chocolate, you know? So uh, it is possible to be a fat vegan for sure. And maybe Brady was doing it in a way that was way better for him than Cam Newton. Because there is a way to be like, I'm vegan. I guess I'm going to have fucking lettuce only and what? Pasta? With oil on it or, you know what I mean? You know, it's funny. A friend of mine uh, was like, hey, man, I tried that Impossible Whopper. Yeah. And uh, he goes, did you know that's only 10 calories difference than than a real Whopper? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. No. It's for people that have moral reasons. Okay. Because you're slathering with cheese, all the sauces, all the thing, and and basically it's a tofu tempeh type thing, and that will fill you up um and you're putting all the other shit on it so 
that's the other thing too. It's like ve- vegan. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's vegan mayonnaise, there's vegan cheese, there's and they're filled with all these carb like oil, sugary things. Man, I'm gonna tell you uh, the other nights after a long, uh, long shift, as we went live on YouTube. Oh yeah, uh, stayed up with everybody and uh, yeah. we're c- commenting live and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, would you would you for Trinity Bros that? podcast? I'm gonna tell you what I, I had. Please, I know uh, you're. I went. I popped on down to uh, the cookout. Oh, uh, wow! You really treated yourself. I did I did? My gosh, I had no idea that you were going there. I might have asked for a little. You were not even close to being up at that nope. point of the. I evening. was, as usual, partying. Nope. My butt off. So if You're I, guys, if I don't asleep. answer the phone or messages past nine, it's because I'm partying so hard <laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah, you were fast asleep. Sure, and sure, sure. Can you blame on, me? Popped on down to the good for you. Uh, the cookout wasn't. Oof. By the way, wasn't the first choice. And uh, what did you want? I was gonna go to Chick Fil A. Oh well. Just get a spicy chicken sandwich, right? Just call it a day. Call it something sort of lighter. They're, they're a civilized drive through which means they're open daytime hours. Yeah. So yeah. they were closed at 10, 30, 11 you or whatever betcha. it was. And I was surprised. You don't want that bullshit coming through, the drunks and the shit. And then out of the, my periffs, you know, the periffs on the side. Your peripheral peripheral, peripheral yep. vision? My, my periffs. Sure. Uh, looking down, I, ca- I catch that sign of the cookout, and I'm like, whoopsie. There you go. Whoopsie, ding dong. One door closes and another one opens. If you love something, open throw a it away. Win- the window opens. And it'll come back. God opens the window. And right in your life. Right into your life, and if you let it fly, fly away, it'll come it'll back. It'll come right back into the window, yep.